Our top story this lunchtime, nearly 400 Afghan evacuees who arrived in South Korea on Thursday will be staying temporarily at a state-run facility in Jincheon County. That's about 90 kilometers southeast of Seoul. Our Beyonji has been at the site since around the time of yesterday when they first arrived at the airport. So, Unji, you've been there for a while now. Tell us about the situation right now. Well, Mark, right behind me is where the Afghan evacuees will be staying for around six weeks. The evacuees who came to Korea yesterday afternoon will soon arrive here any minute now on 15 buses. According to the Justice Ministry, there are 377 of them arriving in Jincheon, one fewer than the total number the foreign ministry had announced yesterday. Police have been patrolling the outskirts of the facility all morning, even before the evacuees got here, and will be here 24-7 to reassure local residents. Also, 10 healthcare workers and 40 workers from the Justice Ministry will be staying here to help them settle. The evacuees will be staying here at the National Human Resources Development Institute, a state-run facility in Jincheon County, Chungcheongbuk-do province. The six-story building can accommodate up to around 520 people. Last year, the same facility was used as a quarantine center for Koreans who were evacuated from Wuhan, China at the start of the pandemic. The Afghan evacuees will be placed under self-quarantine for two weeks here. And although they were tested for COVID-19 upon arrival, they will have two additional PCR tests during their quarantine period. Well, it's good to hear that they will be getting a lot of support while they make the transition and hopefully they settle in well. How are the local residents there responding to the fact that hundreds of these Afghan evacuees are coming to their hometown? Well, most of the local residents here in Jincheon seem to be welcoming Afghan evacuees staying here, um, especially given the fact that they are those who helped with the South Korean mission in Afghanistan and there are around 100 young children under the age of five, residents here are welcoming them with open arms. Residents greeted them by putting up welcome banners at the entrance with the messages in Korean, English and Arabic. One of them read, welcome to Korea, the country of freedom and peace. But at the same time, there were fears that there might be Taliban members included in the incoming group. This comes as an Afghan who was evacuated to France was recently arrested, suspected of having links to the Taliban. In response, government officials reassured locals that there is no need to worry as they have completed the screening process to confirm the identities of the evacuees. That's all I have for now at this hour. Back to you, Mark.